guys, it's Wisteria, and welcome back to Animal Crossing New Leaf. Now, a couple of things before we begin. You may notice that obviously I have the in-game music on right now. I don't know if it's the best quality, so let me know if you prefer having the in-game music or if you like the music that I overlay better because I don't know I think that this sounds okay like I did a couple of sound tests that seemed to work fine I think it would be better if we had the in-game sounds for this let's play another thing is I had asked you guys in the last episode what you thought the town tune of solitude should be and I had three main answers one of them was the sailor moon theme which is actually the town theme for Windhelm right now but if y'all want me to make that the town tune for Solitude, I'll change it in Windhelm to something else. And then I got one for the Dragonborn theme, like the theme of Skyrim. I really like that idea. If I do go with the Sailor Moon theme for Solitude, I'll probably change the town theme of Windhelm to the Dragonborn one. And then I also got a suggestion for Super Mario Galaxy. So I think I'll put a link to a poll on my Twitter in the comments and in the description. Please, please vote on that. Might also give my Twitter a follow if you're interested, just because I will be announcing when I'm going to be opening my gates for you guys. It'll be Windhelm for a while. I don't know when I'm going to open up Solitude for everyone. But yeah, announcements for times that we can all play together will be over there, so... Give that a follow if you're interested but anyways let's go ahead and get into this finally enough of my blathering as always it's not a wisteria video if i don't blather you know <laughs> so i've been checking this almost every single day i've been talking to sable almost every single day and i've been helping the villagers a little bit and earlier whenever i got on here to check on my town isabel actually told me that our approval rating was already at 100 percent I don't know how that happened because I maybe did like two chores for my villagers each day. I didn't do hardly anything at all, but I haven't checked my mail at all. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see what we got. Oh, my inventory is so full. <laughs> okay. So we have a letter from the HH showcase. Can't speak. <laughs> Welcome to the Happy Home Academy. All members can use our Happy Home Showcase. Please be sure to visit us when you get the chance at any point. Okay, so we will do that eventually. And then we have one from Kin, who is our edgy chicken, I believe. And one from Callie, okay. So let me put something, we'll put our perfect apple up here because I still don't know where I want to plant it. I'm afraid someone's going to plop their home on it. Dear Wisteria, thank you for coming to my house the other day. Did I go over to her house? I guess I must have. It made me really happy to see you were having fun. Also, I really wanted to give you this. Do you like it? Your friend, Callie. And let's read the one from Kin to Wisteria. I guess I went to their houses and I don't even remember it. Amazing. Thanks for hanging out just the other day. You may not need it, but I thought your wall was missing something. So I'm sending this to you. I really hope you like it. Kin the coordinator. Okay, so let's see what they gave us. We have a sleek clock. Ooh, that might fit in. I don't know. And then we have a mini cactus. Oh, that's nice. I also got a couple of things from the villagers. I don't know what I did in didn't have. I bought this doctor's mask. Uh, I think a villager gave me that. A villager gave me that, which I'm kind of interested to see what that is. Oh, and a villager gave me a coconut, so we should plant that. That could be useful. Let's go ahead and go inside our tiny little home. Oh, it's so cramped in here. Oh, I do have my amiibo card reader now, so I might move in some villagers fairly soon. Also, Bill told me he was leaving, but somebody has already claimed him, so I won't be giving him away but maybe in the future when any other villagers leave, I'll let you guys know in case you want them. There's our cactus. I don't think I like it that much. I don't think it'll really fit in with the theme, so we're going to put that back up. And then this is the star projector. Oh, we don't have enough room. It must be pretty big. Okay, let's back up a bit. Display. Oh, goodness. Okay, so I do kind of want to keep this because I am going with the galaxy theme for Solitude. But obviously, we do not have room for this right now, so I will put that in a letter and we will keep it for the future. Let's also take a look at this sleek clock. Does it go on the wall? I kind of feel like it does. I think he mentioned something about a wall. Yep, there we go. Um, that'll probably fit in somehow with the theme of solitude. I'm not really sure what I want to go for with the interior and the exterior so far, but we'll figure something out. So I do want to go talk to Mabel. I don't think we're going to be able to start on the paths today, but I think maybe in the next episode we can. If the next episode isn't like 
super soon, which it might be, because I'm kind of thinking I might start uploading this. Ooh, there are a lot of things to dig up. I haven't dug anything up while I've not been recording, but ooh, a gyroid. Cool, cool. A nebuloid. That sounds like it could be galaxy themed. Let's go <laughs> back to our house and see. But, oh, what was I even talking about? Yeah, I might upload this not only on Sundays, but on Wednesdays too. It all depends on if I'm able to stick to that. I, I want to, but we'll see what happens. Okay, let's take a look at this gyroid. I'm very curious. Oh, I quite like him. He makes cool sounds. Hold on. Listen. See, that's cool. I like him, actually. He kind of fits in, so we're going to keep him very perfect for the theme. Very nice, very nice. I'm all excited about this theme. Like, I don't know. Just something about it seems so perfect. I'm just really excited. I don't know how much of the path laying out I will be doing on camera. I will probably start it on camera just so you guys can kind of see my process. Ooh, look at that. Katrina's in town. Let's go talk to her because we haven't seen her yet and that could be cool. But let's go ahead and talk to her. Kiha homo ata. Kiha mo atata. Yi he ha ta ta ta. Oh my, you. Being surrounded by the bright aura of many stars. I, Katrina, will reveal your future and the way to capture fortunes untold for a mere 500 bells. We don't really have that money to be spending, but since we haven't talked to Katrina before, I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you guys. So please. Oh, this kind of hurts me. <laughs> Very well, let me bring your star matrix into view. Have a seat. Okay, okay. I love Katrina. She has a cool aesthetic. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is just a bunch of, like, rambling, so... <laughs> Oh, I love this part. It's so pretty. Ah, see, this is how I want solitude, like the theme of it to be. Ah, yes, it has come into view. A turtle takes a nap on the beach of a tropical island. He's enjoying his retirement and looking younger by the day. From this place, I can see the signs. Oh, yes, I can. I see good fortune upon health. Dress. <laughs> this item will be the key to truly unlocking your good fortune. Well, alrighty then. Okay, and then we're back. May happiness find you and yours. And remember that bad times are just times that are bad. Thank you, Katrina. We will be taking our leave now. Okay, so that was Katrina's little fortune telling thing. We don't really have a dress. Ooh, here's Fuchsia. Hi, Fuchsia. Let's go ahead and talk to her. If it ain't Wisteria, long time no see. What? I thought I've been speaking to you. Maybe I forgot. Whoops. Like one week? You've got a big presence, so even a few days without you feels like a super long time. But anyway, I'm glad you're doing alright, girlfriend. Oh, I kind of feel bad. I didn't know it'd been that long. I could have sworn I talked to her while I wasn't recording, but maybe I didn't. I know I talked to the others, obviously, because I went and hung out with them and everything. So we do need to also go talk to Isabel today. I'm just kind of wandering around, making sure the town's okay. Uh, I know I've talked to those two, so I'm probably not going to do that right away. Maybe later on we can. I kind of want to go ahead and just talk to Isabel. We're down here, so we might as well. Let's go ahead and go on in. Okay, so here we are. Let's go ahead and take a seat back here. And hopefully we can start doing some public works projects. That would be great. Mayor Wisteria, I haven't heard anything back yet about your town development permit. It'll take one day at the very least to get it approved, but it could take a few days longer. I'll let you know as soon as it goes through, so don't worry. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to wait to get our town development permit. I'm a little confused about that. All right, maybe I'll figure it out later like I did in last episode. Sometimes it takes me a little bit to <laughs> realize things, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and run up to the store. We should probably dig this up. Hopefully it's another nebuloid. I like those actually, very cool. Nope, it's a fossil that works too though. Oh, you know what? Before we go up to the little main street we should actually sell some things because my inventory is very full so it would probably be a smart thing to do real quick so let's go ahead and see what we have to sell we need to get rid of this empty can we don't really need that we don't need that apple i think we need to donate that we'll sell this sell this one sell that and sell that Okay, so we have to dispose of the trash, but that's actually a pretty good price for all of that, I think. We will take it. Hopefully we can get, like, a nice piece of furniture or wallpaper or something. I really, I don't remember what it's called, but I really want the star wallpaper. Like, the one that Julian has in his house. I think it would fit in very nicely. Let's go ahead and dig this up. 
Ooh, we have a lot of gyroids today. Okay. Okay, it's such a, like, overcast day. Like, it's so, like, dark and gray. So I, I apologize for that. Oh, <gasps> something I forgot to tell you guys. I haven't gone in here yet, but the garden shop did open up. So we'll go in there after we visit the little tiny nooks. Okay, so I'm not seeing any furniture, really. And they don't sell wallpaper or anything yet. So... I think we'll just have to take our leave. Let's go into here too because I want to see if there's any exterior items that I might want. I still don't really know how I want the exterior of my home to look, but maybe this will give me some ideas. Oh, Lyle's here now. Welcome, welcome. Yes, Wisteria, you have a most excellent sense of timing. Allow me to introduce you to someone. This is the Happy Home Academy's special advisor, Lyle. He's going to start coming out here on a daily basis to offer advice on the building of wonderful homes. Hey, you! Nice to meet ya! Me, like the raccoon said. I'm Lyle, the Happy Home Academy. I'm the Solitude Area Manager. Bang, right? You're the mayor of this burg? Lucky me. You got a house in Solitude? Congrats. You're good people. Here's the deal, the skinny. Happy Room Academy was just rooms. Now, not just one room. No, we went big. Bang, we do the whole house. We research day and night. It's so creepy to me. <laughs> We're the experts. Here's the truth. Happy homes make happy people. It's a big step for us. Brave new world. New ball game. We're ready. We're the Happy Home Academy. This here? Nook's Homes created this space. Just for Lyle. Bang. Why? Me? You? Opportunity. Ugh, I hate the way he talks. Like, please stop talking. <laughs> Business basics. Right here. Right now. Oh, members only. You want to talk with Styria? You know where to find me. Come find me. Bang. Well, you heard what he said, hmm? If you have any questions about putting rooms together, you should ask Lyle for advice. Yes, yes. Okay, we probably won't be doing that right now. Ooh. I kinda... I kinda like these two things put together. Those could look nice, but I don't know if I want to commit to anything yet on our house. Hmm. I feel like this one would probably fit in. But how much is it? Yeah, see, it's kind of expensive, so I think I'll probably do a little bit more research of the exterior items before I decide to go with anything, because I don't really know what I want yet. If you have any ideas, feel free to share them, of course. I love it when you guys help me with things, because I'm pretty bad at design and whatnot, so <laughs> let's go ahead and go into the garden shop. Aw, uh, here's Leaf. Welcome. Oh, a first-timer. Welcome! I sell flowers here. Nice, beautiful flowers. Yes, indeed. I also have saplings, tools, and many more things, so please do take your time and have a look around. First off, <laughs> we need this watering can because our flowers are dying, and I really want to be able to bring some flowers over eventually. I don't know if we'll wait till I can get the beautiful town ordinance or not, but we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and take this. Why not? Yes, please. Wahoo, thank you. I don't think we're gonna buy any saplings or flowers just yet because I am mostly probably going to be sticking to blue and purple roses and I have those in Windhelm. I'll probably just give myself two of each and then we'll grow them in this town. I could grow them myself, but I don't know. I feel like most people probably buy them nowadays anyways because they're such a pain to grow. I don't know. Speaking of which, after this episode goes live, you might... Once again, check on my Twitter to make sure, but I think that I'm probably going to have my gates open for those of you that wanted to come buy blue flowers, or blue roses, because I do have some now. Let's go ahead and talk to Sable. Oh, Wisteria, you're looking well. How nice. It's very sweet of you to always make a point of stopping by. I feel awful that I have never even have the time to make you a cup of tea. I really wish we had one more set of claws around, then I could take the time to sit and chat with you. Oh, now, sis, there you go again, focusing on what we don't have. How can you complain now that Label is back with us? Don't you remember the three of us sisters promised to work hard together from here on out? Tee hee hee, you're right, Mabel. My apologies. Either way, Wisteria, even though we don't have much to offer, please feel free to stop by when you can. Aw, see, I think we're getting pretty close to getting the QR scanner. Not sure, but I think we're getting there. Let's go ahead, see if there's any accessories we want. Ooh, the cat head thing is kind of tempting. Hmm. <laughs> Let's try it on. The cat cap? That's not a bad choice. When you want to look like a cat, this item is just the thing. The cost is 480 bells. Uh, 
let's try it on. <laughs> See, I think I might buy it. I don't know if I'll wear it all the time, but it's good to buy things that you're kind of interested in, just so if you want to reorder them later, you can. Uh, I will keep it on. We're going to be a cat today, guys. <laughs> Yay, okay. And then I kind of like these glasses, too. Those are pretty cute. The thick glasses, that's not a bad choice. Uh, oh, these are even cheaper. Let's try them on, see how they fit our character. <laughs> that's actually pretty cute, I think. The sweater doesn't go at all. But I think we'll keep it on. Our character looks like a little mess, but that's okay. We'll get her sorted out eventually. <laughs> oh, we look a little strange. But now let's go ahead and go talk to Blathers because we do have some fish to donate and some fossils for him to check out. Let's go ahead and have him assess a fossil first. Or a few fossils, I think. Oh, just a couple. Now, let's see if these are new or not. Found something. Okay, so I think one of them we already have. Hmm. What is it I wonder that we didn't already have? We have to make a donation anyway, so let's go ahead and see. A Archelon? I think that's how you pronounce it, torso. That's cool. And then we need to donate these as well. Uh, I feel bad about the little sea butterfly thing. It's so cute. I kind of want to keep it, but maybe we can catch another one. Okay, so there we go. Some more things for the museum. I think we'll go back to the town and maybe talk to some of the townsfolk. So I really need to take my 3DS with me the next time I, like, leave the house. <laughs> so that maybe I can street pass some people. I feel like not as many people carry their 3DSs as they used to. I'll probably street pass myself. But yeah, we need to get some houses up in our little showcase. And then we can explore those and buy furniture from them and whatnot. That could be good. Oh, let's read the bulletin board. We haven't done that yet today. Uh, ooh, the fishing tourney's coming up. This Saturday. Alright, so I need to make a note to upload on that day. Uh, we're expecting an average amount of snow, so it's a good time for snowmen. It won't be freezing, so all ponds should be normal. Snow, but it won't be freezing. I'm confused about that, but okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, we missed the meteor shower. Oh no, that kind of makes me sad. Okay, so let's talk to Limburg. Hey, Wisteria, Squinky. So did you need something? Let's talk. <laughs> I'm thinking about redecorating my room, and I want to replace my beacon fire, definitely. Hmm, I still need something that's the same size. Do you have any suggestions for what might work? Uh, we actually do not, unless if he wants a gyroid. I don't know if they take those. Let's see. And I think a beacon fire is only like one by one, isn't it? I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so we can give him the gyroid. Let's see if he likes it. Oh, a mini stromboid. I'm sure a gyroid will do wonders for my room. Awesome, I'll put this gift out as soon as I get home in a bit. Here, this gift is just a little token of my thanks. Take it. <gasps> yes, it's furniture. Good. <laughs> a lazy Susan table. Okay, I don't think that would fit our house, but... Thanks again for the help. It was nice of him, at least. We can sell it. Something I might do today is make the town flag because one of you guys actually messaged me on Tumblr with a design that you thought would be really pretty, and I kind of want to do that. Like, it's a galaxy type of print, and I kind of want to, like, replicate that, but then put, like, the little Skyrim logo over it, or, like, the Imperial logo, because I think that would be really nice. Oh, here's a flower that needs watering. Let's save it. There we go. Now hopefully it won't die. Oh, I'm not used to not having the golden shovel. See, I'll probably have to wait to put out the crystals and everything until I can get the... Did I say shovel? The golden watering can. Let's talk to Ken. Have we talked to him today? I don't think so. The weather is kind of crummy, but it has an air of something special all the same, doesn't it, Wisteria? So what's going on? I want to chat. Is my skin looking a little, I don't know, off color? I know I'm feeling more tired than usual. I bet I need some fruit. Yeah, those vitamins really make me feel like I'm at the top of my game. How about it, Wisteria? Will you bring me some fruit? Any kind will put the pet back into my step. Uh, count on me. We'll get you an apple. Why not? What? Really? You'll get it for me? Oh, I can't wait to savor the results, Wisteria. Okay, so is there an apple tree nearby? Probably. Hopefully. Oh, we should plant this coconut. Hopefully it'll grow. What's a good spot? Maybe like over here? Yeah, I think hopefully it should grow right here. Um, oh, there's our little bell going off. That's so cute. 
Let's go ahead, bury that. Hopefully it grows. If not, I can always get one from Windhelm, but I want to try to refrain from doing that too, too much. But, oh, it's snowing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Another gyroid. So many today. Mega Puffoid. Ooh, cool, cool. Aha, here's one. Also, something else to dig up. Cool. It's a fossil. Perfect. Now, where's Kin at? Is he still over here? There he is. Kin, don't walk away from us. <laughs> It's still cold outside, Wisteria. Good thing it's also still so pretty outside, no doubt. So, what can I do for you? Wanna eat this? <laughs> oh great, I was hoping I wouldn't have to wait much longer for something, Wisteria. Alright, so there we go. Let's give him that apple. Hopefully he'll like it. <laughs> I finally got it right here in my hands, and soon to be in my belly. Yes, that's the flavor I remember. It's so reassuring to taste an apple once again. Here, take this gift in return for your favor. Flavor fetching, Wisteria. It's a striking outfit. Hmm. We shall try that on. Thanks again, Wisteria. Go ahead and wear that. Oh gosh. Oh, mm. Well, <laughs> I know neither of these really look good with what we have on right now, but it's fine. We'll deal with it. Ooh, there's another thing. Oh no, it's a pitfall. Uh, I always fall for it. I need to dig this up and like plant it on the beach so that they'll quit spawning. Oh, look at the little snowflake. Uh, I kind of want to catch it. Let's catch it. Oh no, no, no. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> Come back. There we go. <laughs> wow, a snowflake. I should be gentle with it so it doesn't melt. Cool. I don't know if we'll actually make the snow woman or whatever she's called, but... If we do, we have a snowflake, so that's cool. I feel like the ice set would actually look really nice in this world, wouldn't it? Like with the theme, I don't know. Cause it's all crystal-y. I mean, it's ice, but you know, it's, it's similar. I wonder if snowflakes sell for anything? Hold on. Oh, it actually sells for pretty well. That's not bad, all right. Let's go ahead and sell the other things as well. Ooh, that's pretty good too, cool, cool. Okay, so I think I might go ahead and make our flag. Okay, so I have the picture up now. I think that maybe instead of like the pink glow that's at the bottom left, I might have a blue glow since it's going to be purple and blue themed. Let's see if I can make something similar to this that looks nice. I'm honestly not too confident in my abilities. We're gonna get rid of the ugly bug one because I hate the bug one. <laughs> Go ahead, redesign. Sorry that the bottom screen's not too perfect. Like the bottom screen webcam isn't as good as the top one, but yeah. I'm probably going to not talk too much through this because I feel like it's gonna take a lot of struggling, I guess. Okay, so I think that's kind of what I have as the basis of the background. I know it's not perfect, but I might... I can't decide if I like this stripe like right here or not. Like, it kind of looks cool up here, but maybe not so much down here. Hmm. I don't know. We can always go back and fix it if we want to. But this is just the background. Like, it's going to have something over it anyways. So, I don't know. I just thought it looked like a cool little atmosphere thing. So now I got to decide how I want to do the stars. Like, is that convincing? I think it kind of is. It doesn't look too horrible. Okay, so that's what I have kind of as the base. I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and complete that, but I'm gonna go ahead and save that just in case I mess up. I don't want to have to completely redo this. All right, so this one will have the dragon on it. So let's see if I can do this. I don't know how I'm gonna have enough colors, but we'll try. Okay, so it's a little uneven. I'm trying to think. Do I like this? Eh, it's close enough. I think I need to get rid of the star next to its head, though, because it, it kind of looks a little strange. Maybe that looks a little better. Now we can add some highlights to it. How's that look? Hmm. Let's just mess with the gray a little bit, see if there's a different shade of gray we like better. We can make it lighter. That looks pretty good. Or darker. Hmm. We could even make it a different color if we wanted to. I kind of like that blue, actually. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. It's as good as it's probably going to get, so <laughs> let's go ahead. Done. We'll name this one Solitude Flag. Okay, so let's talk to her. Hello, Mayor Wisteria. Is there something you'd like to inquire about? Town Flag. 
You want to know about Solitude's flag? It's displayed in front of the town hall and inside the train station. Do you have a flag design that really captures the spirit of Solitude? I do indeed. There we go. Wow, it's perfect. It really captures the spirit of Solitude. We'll use this design as our new town flag. Thank you for your excellent submission. Okay, so let's go look at this. I'm pretty excited about that. Oh, look at it. That's so pretty. I really like that, actually. Let me adjust the colors a bit. I feel like the colors today have just been real weird. And I apologize. <laughs> I, I blame it on the snowiness, even though it's kind of been like that. I think I feel like every episode of the series so far has been like really dreary, but it is winter. But I like dreary weather, so it's okay. It just doesn't come off on the webcam too great. There we go, and ooh, I hear a snowflake nearby, and I kind of want to catch it. Ah, there it is. There we go, we have a snowflake. We can probably sell it. So, I think I might go ahead and leave the episode here. Just taking a screenshot there, don't mind me. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you would like to. Don't forget to check out that poll on my Twitter, or if you don't have a Twitter, a comment would be fine. If you see that somebody's already voted in the comments for your vote, just go ahead and give that comment a thumbs up. Maybe whichever one has the most thumbs up or votes on Twitter or whatever, I'll choose. I don't know. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.